Hey guys, what is up and welcome yourselves back to War Thunder with yours truly, Weeby. Now today I have something awesome to show you. Now, okay, obviously you've already seen the video title of this. I am fairly aware of that. But the reason why I'm showing you the HE219 is because I have something that I want to say before I get into this. Obviously, we're talking about the BV141. Now, this is a user-created aircraft. Now, this is on War Thunder Live. Download link will be in the description below. Go check it out. Really, really, really cool idea. I haven't actually flown the plane yet because I'm going to do that with you now. The reason I'm so showing you the HE219 is because it's a revenue share thing. Uh, so when you buy this, a cut of that goes towards the uh, content creator. So I would like to see if we can get this BV141 as an ad revenue plane. Now, where I would like it to sit is probably about tier two in probably this area here. Um, maybe here, possibly there, 3.0, 2.3, maybe 2.7 battle rating. Uh, as a premium aircraft sitting there. So without further ado, uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so here we are, the BV-141, and wow, that looks cool. That is trippy as hell. <laughs> That's so awesome. Look at that. Okay, so it's got a single engine, but the cockpit's over there. BV, Blumen Voss really made some <laughs> silly designs. Okay, so what do we have here? Maybe those are 50 kilogram bombs, and we have 2,000 rounds of can cannon ammunition. I'm not sure what it actually has, cannon-wise. That sounds like 23 millimeters. All right, let's uh, let's take off. See how this uh, this thing performs, because that'd be interesting. I don't actually know much about the BV-141, to be honest. I know it was more intended as a sort of reconnaissance light fighter. Uh, as well as a ground attack, but I just you don't hear much about this plane So after this video, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go have a look up see what it was used for and see what you could Essentially maybe use it for in War Thunder because I think this would be a really really fun little low tier ground attack plane uh, Where are the cannons situated? Okay, so the cannons are right at the front in the cockpit actually is there a cockpit? Oh, this plane's up there Oh, he's done a cockpit! Holy mother of god! This is cool, I feel like I'm flying in a, a pet cage. That's really intimidating, having a massive engine right next to you. Alright, no rear gunner, clearly. Um, cockpit instruments, good stuff. Lots of visibility, actually. Apart, well, kind of. Um, Alright, let's see how this thing turns. Oh, it turns quite nicely. Well, considering what it is. What, what do you reckon that wing is? It looks like it's had a, a JU-88 that's been cut in half. How am I meant to get up there? This thing doesn't climb too well. Although we are going 200 miles an hour, actually. Okay, so we do have a rear gunner. He just doesn't show up in cockpit view. Interesting. Oh! That, okay! Um, oh, rocket... Yeah, that's it! Uh, okay, that's scary. All right, rear gunner's having a go. Um, let's see how this thing turns. All right, combat flaps, I'd assume that is. All right. Okay, doesn't turn all that great. I lied. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair, it's because it's got that as an elevator. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it really doesn't turn well. What if I drop the bombs? That made no difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. It's stupid. Um, and I think that's what... Oh, wow, this thing just... Oh, dear. Turn time is... It's not this thing's greatest advice. <laughs> Look at what the gladiators... Mine, 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 mine. Go on, Blue and Voss, get him. All right, let's go. Rear gunner time. Oh, game lagged a little bit. Oh, this is so weird shooting like this. So you got to aim here to start hitting that plane. Go on, BV. Yes, he's taking him all out. Go on, my son. Well done. Oh, we were going down quite quickly there as well. Okay, so yeah, this is a really interesting design. 
I like it. It's it's different. I see what it's like going in for a straight front, actually. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I would use it for. I would use it as a ground attack plane. Um, or, I guess in Enduring Confrontation, you could use it as a scout, but... Hang on. Okay, it's, it's really... It's a bit off-putting having the guns it there, but it's something you can get used to. Um, yes, I want to continue. Oh, that! Whoa! Jesus! What the hell? Okay, hang on. Let's try that again. So, let's get some altitude and rudder. That is. The oh no! I press space. Damn it! Why you do this, man? Oh, I forgot to actually press space. That rudder turn is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to check this out, um, link will be in the description below. I highly recommend you do because it's a cool idea. Um, I hope to see that, that in game, in all honesty, because it looks, it looks interesting. It would be fun to see those flying around the skies in low tier battles. But any, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click that like button below. Do subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content. And take care. I will see you next time.